boat just arrived. Everybody's getting on the boat. Isn't this fun, Bill? Get on a boat right at the hotel. Is that fun? So here we go on the boat. We're going to go out on the Sea of Galilee. We're heading to Mass. I was not a fisherman. I wouldn't talk. To, I couldn't talk to him in Hebrew, so he finally realized I was not a fisherman. I was really taking pictures, and it was for the press. I told him. So we fished, and we caught a lot of fish. After banging on the boat for a while and kapush kapush, we started to pull the net in. We pull it in a half a mile long, a little bit at a time. Every couple minutes, there's a fish stuck in the net. After being on a real boat on the Sea of Galilee, we show people this ancient boat, 2,000 years old from the time of Jesus, and we watch a movie about the history of the boat and how it was discovered. We just arrived at Capernaum to the entrance, and we've now come into the church, the promise of the Eucharist. And we're going to start our Mass right now. Mass will be celebrated here right over the house where Jesus lived with Peter and Andrew. Those are the remains of the house where Peter and Andrew lived. And Jesus lived here for three years. And then I'm going to show you the synagogue where Jesus said, Eat my flesh and drink my blood. Those words were spoken right there in the synagogue here in Capernaum. gospel says, eat my flesh and drink my blood. Those words were spoken in this very synagogue by Jesus himself. Jesus said, this is my body, holding up the bread on the table. Now, I picture myself as Steve Ray the Baptist in my former life, reclining a table with him, and I can imagine myself saying, oh, Jesus, excuse me, you just made a mistake. You said that bread was your body. We all see that it's bread, so I think that you made a mistake, and maybe you ought to reword what you just said. <laughs> maybe you ought to reword it to say that represents your body, because, Lord, there's going to be a billion Catholics someday that think you really meant what you just said. <laughs> that it is your body. Can you imagine the audacity of me telling Jesus to reword what he just said? And yet every time as an evangelical I read those words in the Bible, that's exactly what I did because I had my Baptist glasses on and when I read it, I read the word represent. This represents my body. That's what I saw through my Baptist glasses because my mom and dad gave me a Baptist tradition, a pair of Baptist glasses, that the lens I looked through was Baptist tradition. They gave me a pair of Baptist tradition glasses before I ever learned to read the Bible alone for myself. Then when I started to read the Bible alone, I read it through the lens of my Baptist tradition. And I read this represents my body every time I read that passage. Well, we just arrived at lunch. There's our two buses. And we're coming into the Tanyarine restaurant. There it is, our Tanyarine. 
There's our driver, Assam. He's very happy today. <clears throat> what do you want to drink here for lunch? And here's our group. This table and this table. Oh, and they're getting their fish. How do you oh, like yum. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Not bad, huh? <laughs> It's wonderful. Well, Mama, how do you like well, yours? His, his was direct. smiling. Mine is not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> she got the unhappy one. <laughs> Cooked is not, not happy. happy. No. What fish is smiling? So, how are you, you going to tackle this thing? That's a good question. I think I'll start. I think start. he's got to follow his lead. I like the end yes, part. Uh, I'll probably start at the tail. Well, down here and yeah. down. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Oh, look at here they come. Get all these fish. Ah, delicious fish, St. Peter's fish. They didn't have the Vatican and all these things. They were just simple, easygoing, present Protestants. If I could go back and read the Fathers of the Church, I could prove to Al that the early Catholics, that the early Christians were really Protestants. So we started reading the Fathers of the Church, and guess what? I found out that the early Christians were distinctively Catholic. After an hour of driving south to Jerusalem, we stopped at a rest area for everybody to get some ice cream and coffee and stretch their legs. And of course, we visited the most important site of all today. This is always the most important site. <laughs> this is a first century Christian who did not have a catechism or RCIA. He learned everything he knew from Peter and Paul and John and the apostles. He's called an apostolic father because he sat at their feet and learned from them. Peter ordained Ignatius to be a priest. And Ignatius had a very long arm. People don't know that about him. He had a very long arm because he reached all the way through, he stretched his arm out through 2,000 years of history and pointed right at my face and said, Steve Ray, you are a heretic. I did not like a first century Christian calling me a heretic. But the more I read the writings of the early Christians, the more I realized they were Catholic and I could not find my favorite Protestant doctrines in any of their writings. We're on our way to Ein Kerem, the hill country of Judea, where Mary has been walking for almost a week to visit her relative Elizabeth. There's the hill country of Judea, and there is the Hadessa Hospital. This is the well of the visitation where Mary met Elizabeth at this well. Praying the mystery of the visitation. Jesus is 100% man, and we make that statement by saying Mary is his mother. Mary is a girl. 
She's a female. She's not angelic. She's not God. She is a woman who had a baby, therefore the baby is human. But in that statement, Mary is the mother of God, we have to figure that out. Now that means that the person she gave birth to is a divine person, the second person of the Trinity who took on flesh. Therefore, she is the mother of a divine person. Therefore, she's the mother of God. She's not the mother of the Trinity. She's the mother of the second person of the Trinity who came to earth in human form. So the church made that a witness test. I will find out if you're a heretic or not. Can you say Mary is the mother of God? Can you say this? Beautiful, isn't it? Father, is everything all right so far? It's great, and I'm just doing the salad. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice place. Look at all the desserts here. So we're at the Notre Dame. Here's Having the dining room. Having a delicious room. dinner. Good. Glad you're enjoying it. Here is the uh, restaurant. Here's the uh, dining room where all of our people, that's all our group there. We're sitting here, and of course we all have drinks with our meals included. It's okay so far? Very good. Good, good. These are all free, part of the dinner. Hello, everybody. Hello, and this is George. Hi, George. And this is Maher. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. And this is our team. Hi, Brady. Congratulations from Grandma in Jerusalem. Say hi to Mom and Dad and uh, Leah and Evan and Grandpa and Rod. Bye-bye. After a great dinner, we had confessions in the chapel, and everybody had some free time. Good night, Jerusalem, ready for Bethlehem tomorrow. <laughs>